Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss about uh, IP space. We will discuss one example where we can implement IP space. We will also see one diagram which explain IP space and then we will quickly create uh, one IP space in the cluster. So first thing, what is IP space? Basically, it's a way to segregate entire network architecture into different segments and each segments or the each IP space act individually as a separate cluster. If you are familiar with the SAN technology, so we can compare this to the vSAN. Another point is that all ports, subnets or SVNs will only be applicable within that IP space. Let's see an image of IP space how it looks like. So this is the overall structure of IP space. Here you can see that uh, this is the cluster. This cluster consists of IP space A and IP space V. IP space A has two SVM, SVM1 and SVM2. These two SVMs belongs to company A and IP space B has two SVM that is SVM3 and SVM4 and that belongs to a company B. And you can see that a thick line is there in between the IP space which indicates that there is no correlations between these two IP space. And one unique thing about you can see here is that uh, the IP address and the subnet that is being used by company A and company B is exactly the same. So this is one of the basic example where we can implement IP space where you have a single network infrastructure and multiple clients to support. So you can create multiple IP space and dedicate each IP space to one particular client and there won't be any overlapping of traffic between those clients. Let's go back to the console. So there are two default IP space will be created automatically that is uh, default IP space and cluster IP space. So in order to list out that we can execute the command network IP space show. We can see here one IP space is cluster and one IP space is default. Now execute the command network IP space show and then the IP space name to see a little bit more details about it. Here we can see the name of the IP space is cluster and these are the ports which is present inside this. So these are the cluster ports of uh, the NetApp which are used for the intercommunications between the nodes through the cluster switches. The broadcast domain is cluster that we will discuss in the next uh, tutorial. Now let's see a little bit more details about the second IP space that is uh, default IP space. Here we can see the name is default IP space and these are the ports which are a part of this IP space. By default all the SVMs and ports which are supposed to serve data to the clients are included in this IP space. So the broadcast domain is also the default. Now let's quickly create a another IP space. So in order to create the IP space, execute the command network IP space create and then we have to give the IP space name. Let's give it as IP space one then hit enter. In order to list out the newly created IP space, just uh, execute the command network IP space show. Here we can see that we have a new IP space. The broadcast domain is empty here. So we will create this broadcast domain in uh, next uh, video tutorial. That's all for this video. If you have any questions or any knowledge to share, about this topic please comment do subscribe and again thank you for watching